Hello everyone, this is Broken Playing Everything, which means today, um, some golf with your friends, while we talk about some ukulele for a minute, which is great, because they added, oh, I don't know if I'll do it this time, I will, they added dunking, dunk mode on golf with your friends, should be dope as hell, I've, I haven't even done it on all the courses, and they added the final course, god, do I want a dunk mode, or do I want to see Ancient again, Ancient's pretty cool, mm. I'll show Ancient. Ancient's new. I'll do both. Ancient Dunk. <laughs> anyway, so, um, I finally got to finish Ukulele, and it was a little bit... I can click to jump, by the way. This is going to be weird. I'm not good at Dunk mode. It's very new. Hup! I should not have clicked. Ukulele was a very up-and-down experience for me. Fuck. At first, I was a salty meatball, and I was in a bad spot, and I couldn't really get through it. And I bounced back mentally. I, I kind of fell off. Fuck. Fell off that stream. And just came in with a fresh mentality. I felt a lot better about it. And I think in that midsection is where a majority of the game's fun and wonder really sparkled within me. I'd say around the time I hit the casino world, I, I was starting to wane a little bit. The fifth world definitely helped. I'm not big on, like casino stuff. That's just a stylistic choice though. It's not even not even necessarily their fault. I don't feel like it was the most this hole is horseshit. Yeah. Yeah. I don't feel like it was even really a bad decision on their part per se. Well, maybe it was Oh my fucking god. Maybe it was cuz it seems like no one likes casino worlds. Got it. You can do it. Look at that. I made one in. Hole in 9. But uh, I just I wasn't in a it started to, to wane. I was a little happy to be done with the game. I was never considering, like, giving it in. You know, I was I was always going to finish it. But I was a little happy with it to be up. And I'd have to say the primary concern remained difficulty. Just like, geez, game, why are you so scared of being difficult? The boss of the game was tough and crazy and in several phases. And he took me, like, four tries in, like, 15 minutes. I don't know. I was hoping it'd be, look at this crazy shit. I was hoping it'd be more of a big deal, and it just wasn't. And so, because some of the difficulty wasn't there, I wasn't as attached to some of the story. I didn't get as much of an emotional positive response out of it. And I also think a little bit of the story was just, and just kind of kiddish, kind of lighthearted and happy natured, which is cool at all. I just, I don't know if it could appeal to people like me. <laughs> just keep jumping them, keep jumping them. Go! <laughs> Shit! We're fine. So, my hope is that, and bear in mind, I love Banjo-Kazooie way more than Tui. Sorry. Uh, just for the sake of the fun of speedrunning it, you know, it's a lot more, it's a lot easier to speedrun. Simpler. You don't have to worry about looking things up or even worrying about pathing and stuff. You only have to backtrack worlds a single time to win a race because you gotta go to the Gobi Desert to get the speed shoes before you can go to the Ice World and beat what's-his-fuck. Uh, but Banjo Tooie, like it's a like world blended nightmare, which is fine. It's just not something I enjoy as much trying to do in one sitting. Anyway, what it brought, to, what Tooie brought to the table that I loved is difficulty and depth. Uh, they spoilers. They killed bottles at the very beginning of the game. I won't tell you how that shakes out. You'll have to go watch my video. <laughs> they killed off bottles though. Right off the bat, the game immediately said, "Hey, you know." We want to be taken a little seriously. I feel like Ukulele could have done that some, because so much of their fan base and the people that were excited about this game were 20-somethings like me that played Banjo-Kazooie growing up. I don't feel like they catered to us. I feel like they were too scared, man. That's It really it, it bums me out. So I'm hoping someday... Oh, I should have... Shit. Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> we're fine. It's good. It is good. I'm hoping someday... They come out with the announcement. Ukulele 2 is coming out, and it's more serious. I'm worried that won't be the case, but I'm hoping it will. Sincerely. That's how I feel about it. Uh, they are putting out a quality of life patch to make cutscenes skippable and to uh, tone down some of the characters' dialogue. The characters' dialogues, like their voices and stuff, I guess, didn't really bother me, but apparently they're doing something about it. Who knows? Oh... And they're going to help a lot with text speed. Because the text speed was uh, brutal. Meaning there was just no... I don't think there were any options for it. I'm pretty sure I checked the options and stuff ahead of time. And I didn't see anything to help with that. There was just nothing. So 
it was at a crawl whether you liked it or not. And again, it's like, man, you're you're setting this at the reading speed of an eight year old. Oh my god. My little oil puddle. It's cool because this is only on the if you're wondering if you want to try this out, this is only on the experimental build with golf with your friends. It's not some crazy alpha thing. Right click the game. Shit. 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 Dunk has jumping by default. You can't even customize dunk mode or you can't even go into custom game mode and turn on dunk and then change other things. Dunk is its own entity that can't be customized. So it just has unlimited jumping. The ball is bigger. You can see the hole is gone. And some of the courses, some of the holes are changed for dunk mode, seriously. Like uh, certain hills and things are flattened where it it would never have been possible to dunk on like the top of a hill. The hills flatten, you know. They just, <coughs> excuse me, fuck. <coughs> Dying. <laughs> Gonna die. Wee. Oh. 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 Come on. I need a drink. I'm sorry. Crap. Anyway, in Steam, uh, right-click your copy of Golf with Your Friends. Select Properties. Under the I think Betas tab there is a drop down that you can set to experimental. Since it is experimental, a lot of these holes are probably gonna change a bunch, which is really cool. Uh, when Candyland came out on the experimental build, they changed a ton of things before it went like live normal build. Like half of the holes were re reworked. It's awesome. So I'm hoping to see that with this, because some of the holes, as a friend put it, and I kind of agree, some of them it's like, do you know that gimmick to hole in one this? Because once you know that gimmick, like, you're fine forever. No more challenge. And that's irritating. Gimmicks are cool, but they shouldn't be uh, guaranteed aim here full speed hole in one. But it's hard to <laughs> hard to illustrate that on dunk mode because I'm struggling. No, God. I'm struggling horrendously. Oh. So, yeah, I think when the polish patch comes out, Going, just changing back to ukulele a little bit. I'd be very willing to go back and maybe try out 100% on a stream. Maybe not in one sitting. I don't know. Uh, maybe for difficulty's sake, I wouldn't get all the items and stuff. I wouldn't 100% it. I'd just clear on through. And I could do it faster. No! I missed the stream, Vince! Oh, we're good. <laughs> the jumping helps. Uh, I could do it faster and it'd be harder. Like, you know, I wouldn't have the health extenders per se. Oh my god. <laughs> that was the word. No, fall in the grass. Fall in the grass. No, 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 no. Don't, don't, no, no, no. Grass. I gotta... Oh, come on. Now you can fall in the... What are you doing? Oh, that's good. Stop. Stop. Stay on the wall. Stay on the wall. Just stay up there. Yeah. Uh-oh. Yes. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Having a tough time. Jesus. This is, um... Not going to be par, per se. I wouldn't call this a par run, no. Anyway, all in all, I think ukulele might have just been a 6 or 7 out of 10 for me. I was really upset that uh, a lot of the puzzles were just, you have a time limit to get from here to there. And on my first try, I could get from here to there with half of my time left. What the hell, you know? Why are you so scared of challenging me? I think it's something they could address. Oh, dude, I could not get the shortcut when I was... I've played this once with my friends. I couldn't do the shortcut. Let me try. Huh? Oh! No! So, what the hell? See, that's it. That's a thing. And I got a... A little lighter. So this is what I'm talking about. This isn't a, a hand-away gimmick. I stroked out trying to get this. I hit 12 strokes, which is just like, you lose. I'm trying to... <laughs> I'm clicking, too. Keep going! Boing! <laughs> but that's irritating. A, a couple of the time events were really brutal in the game, but most of... Oh my god, can you hurry up? Most of them, I had half my time left. It was no big deal. Boing! Oh shit! I jumped. What What are those? Uh, see, I think these are new already. I don't remember those little uh, log spike things. And I feel like... I really don't think they'll do it. But I feel like after the fact, it'd be great if they added a hard mode. Like, you have, the li you have three health instead of six by default, and the power extenders give you half of a uh, butterfly instead of a full butterfly. So at the end of the game, you have six 
butterflies instead of 12. They could do the same thing with the power bar, so in the end you end up having half as much power as you do on normal. Make the enemies hit twice as hard. Please add some more enemies! If you t take away the flying bumblebee, okay, and the um, costume swap enemy that's in every world, the little generic guys, they're in packs, some of them wear hats and take two hits, the rest are just normal. If you take those two enemies out, 90% of the game's enemies are gone. 90%! That's all you got? Uh, that's it? And those little packs of guys? It's like, well, this is neat, this is cute, this is fighting, but not so much of a deterrent from the adventure. <clears throat> then they give you the AoE Sonic move, and it's like, what the hell? <laughs> this AoE one-shots them. A, a group of them around you. If they're wearing hats, they take a second AoE. But they're so slow to react, they won't even do anything about it between AoE 1 and 2. It's not like they're going to stop you. They'll barely contest it. You can even mass stun the um, bees with the AoE. And I found out toward the end of the game, I'd forgotten, <clears throat> if you just look at a bee and cough a little sonar wave out, he's stunned. Just like that. And when he's stunned, he's stupid easy to kill. So, you know, what's the, why don't you even bother with enemies, you know? Whoa, whoa! I, ooh, whoa. All right, go! Oh shit, oh no! I, mm, didn't know I could overdo it so epically. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, no shit! Did you see that shot? Damn. Oh, man. So, <sighs> that's how I feel. I'm, I'm a little disappointed. I don't want to lie to you about it. Oh, whoa, whoa, forgot about this hole. Kind of crazy. See, like that, that, that is a gigantic hole, but there's, there's like nothing to it. You just go full speed and you're in the, you're just, you're gone. Like, what, what's the challenge there, you know? I just went full speed. I'm sorry, I'm salty on everything today. I'm glad I beat ukulele. I'm glad I cleared it 100%. I got all the collectibles. I only had to look up a few things that just stumped me. And I was just... I don't think I was enjoying it enough to to work out the secrets I had missed. You know, I was like, you know, I, I've had my fun. I'm okay with this being done. Which is sad. It's a little sad to me. <sighs> I, I guess there's just never going to be... Maybe there's never going to be a genre... Uh, a game in this genre, this action adventure world based game, whatever, that is going to resonate with me again like Banjo Kazooie did. Uh, another big one, Psychonauts, but now I've got huge reservations about Psychonauts too. I'm trying not to overhype about it because, you know, it could just be the same situation. Could be awesome. Could be the same situation. By the way, I love Ancient. I hope that they retool some of these courses and then I'll be, man, I'll be all for it. And I think they will. I think they will. Sometimes, they, you know, they got to run some ideas by the community and stuff. they got to see how people feel about things. Whoa, shit! Stop, stop, stop! <laughs> Boing. Oh, crap. Okay, let's line up. Oh, boy. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I, f I fucking love this. Uh, yeah! Nope. Nope. Oh! Yes! 86. <laughs> not making par. At least the video's not going to take like 30 minutes. I was doing so bad, I was worried. Like, it's going to take 30 minutes and I'm going to be out of crap to say. Oh, smooth. Where's my ball? What? Oh, I, I got smushed. Okay. I think that happened to someone else. Yes. Yeah. Whoa. But, uh, whatever. Ha! Ah. I hear golf it's kind of a contender out there. I'm going to try it out at some point, I'm sure. Because I really love this game so much. I love this enough to just try golf it. Which I guess looks bad on golf with your friends. It makes them hate me a little. But it's true. Up. Boing, boing, boing. Ah, I should have full speeded it. This one is crazy. This is another one that is just insane. But doesn't take a lot of skill per se. Unless I overkilled it. Oh yeah. Keep going. Yes. Yeah. Hey. Oh, no. no. What? Well, maybe. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. I'll keep, keep going, little buddy. Come on. Come on. This is the adventure game I always wanted. 
Can I play through from here? I'm really doubting it. Nope. Oh, I went so far back. Okay, here we go. There it is. And now we wait. How was your day? How are you doing? I'm just, uh, I'm golfing. Not with my friends. I've done this with my friends. I've almost filled a game. Games can hold, by default they hold 8. You can increase that though. They can hold up to 12. I've almost filled a 12 man game. I think I've hit 11 and it was, oh, 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 oh. Oh my god, okay. As long as I don't go out of bounds, it's, it's fine. Uh, it was hectic though. <laughs> It was, uh, it was doing dunk for the first time. We were on, like, the forest and stuff. It was really funny. Oh, come on. Do this for me. Hop! That did not go in. Not in the slightest. All right, guys, we're going to try to stay under 100. <laughs> Can we do it? Probably not. Whoa, shit! <laughs> so epic. The epicness is there on some of these holes. I've, I've got to say that, and I love it. And this one's a little random to chance. Land on any side of this little hill thing. Huh. Yeah, all right, all right. It was two. Three. I got to get it in four. No way. Oh, come on. Yes, yes. Boink. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. I try something risky. You ready? Yeah. I, oh. I was so close. Yeah! Whew. Look how epic this place is, huh? Deal with a Mayan cookie god. I don't know what his deal is, but that wanted sign on the side of the tavern in the practice area always has me freaked out over the gingerbread man. Oh, oh no. He's on every world. He's on the back of the Sphinx on the on Oasis. And he's wearing the, the Mayan headdress there. <laughs> he's everywhere. You can go free camera mode on holes to look around. That was ancient, though. That was a little bit of a ukulele rant. Um, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, definitely comment, you know, if you think I was off base, if you feel like arguing, if you feel like agreeing, whatever. I'd love to hear from you. I hope you enjoyed the ukulele journey and that you got some real laughs out of it and that I can continue to provide that through some other epic goodness. I know uh, next Hyperlight Drifter is going to go up. I've <clears throat> I've get, just got a 100% it. I've got some content of it that needs to go online. I'm really looking forward to sharing that with you because uh, the end of the game has happened and things got serious. The, the plot is amazing in that game. I'm really happy about it. So yeah, I just had to sharpen it up 100% it and I'll probably get on point with another game that I'll do a few parts of a day. I'm looking forward to it. Thank you so much for uh, all the love and support and you have a good one. Bye!